Hi guys and welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how you can install our plugin and download it from the store so you can use it on your WordPress website. So without further ado, this is a short one. Alexander, can you show us? Sure. Um, okay, you guys can check this out in our documentation under installing. Uh, basically, we'll cover that, this page. So download the plugin from our TMS store. This is uh the, the these are the credentials that you receive along with the purchase code um when you buy the plugin so when you log into the store you can see all your purchases that you've made uh here you can download the plugin and here it is so just save that's it okay now on your website uh, as per our documentation, go to uh, plugins, add new, upload. Now we're going to show you this is a brand new installation and we're going to show you uh, a few potential issues, especially if you're using localhost like uh, we are. So upload plugin, choose the file that you just downloaded. So this one's it. Open and install now. Uh, this uh, happens when you're using uh, localhost. So for localhost, you need to add some um, rules to your config file. So when you go to your FTP and uh, in here, go to wpconfig.php, open that file and simply copy these two values we'll add them below the video so right here under all these defines add these two and save the file so now if we go back to um, add a new plugin and again upload the file we should be able to install it right now that's it okay so activate the plugin and you have WP data tables installed on your website. Um, another way to do this would be, let's just remove the plugin. So another way that's also covered in our documentation uh, would be um, to simply extract the file in WP content plugins with an FTP manager. So let's go. This is the website and we'll open up the downloads folder. So when we open up the downloaded file, all you need to do is go to WP content plugins and extract the, the WP data there. tables folder in there. And once you do this and refresh the plugins page, you will see the plugin is right there. Okay, so, so you can just you just activate it and you can use it. And you can use that. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helps you out. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any issues or questions. See you in another video and don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Bye-bye.